Hello, this is my new rucksack or a backpack and it's called Raja Jäkäri and it's made by Savotta and Savotta is a Finnish company so what you will uh, receive is highly, uh, highly, very high quality Finnish product and of course if you are living in Finland this is important and well quality is of course always very important no matter where you live but of course if you are in Estonia or in USA or in Russia well something uh, built in Finland is not necessarily uh, the main argument. Anyhow, it's made in Finland. Savotta is uh, quite known for its traditional uh, rucksacks with some kind of a metal frame. As you can see, this is a little bit more anatomic backpack. There is a metal frame, but it's internal, so you can almost say that this is uh, somewhat anatomical and yeah, it is a little bit of that kind. Now, the maximum capacity of this rucksack is 60 liters, but I would say the realistic uh, amount is something like 40 to 55 uh, liters. Now, as you can see, it's heavily influenced by some military stuff that is going on around the world today. So you have mole panels everywhere. You have nice mole panels in the front, one on the side, and of course on the other side you have the same. And on the hood you have uh, mole panels. So basically you can attach small pouches and while bigger pouches to have extra room and capacity and also in the belt section you have nice smaller sections so yeah you can easily have all kinds of stuff hanging from this rucksack no problem now you have compression sack compression straps on both sides okay which is nice and you also have compression straps in the front and what's good about this is are basically floating so you can have your uh, sleeping mat or your rain cape and everything basically in this section underneath these straps. Um, what's good about this rucksack compared to the mortuary rucksack that I have from Savotta that is located in the corner there is that this has a floating hood which is nice so if you have to overpack this to the 55 liter capacity or to the 60 liter you can either remove this or you can have this extended which is nice. Uh, there is a little um, pouch or compartment where you can have your reservoir if you have uh, some kind of a uh, drinking system and that, that's why you have a, a small hole here so you can have your holes through quite easily. Uh, in the front there's velcro for your reflectors and for insignia and oral patches if you are in that kind of stuff. And also what's good about with the modern uh, Savotta rucksacks is that they change the, the logo or the, well, the brand logo to this nice green one. It used to be this very ugly yellow or brownish uh, leather, leather pads that I usually have to remove all from my Savotta rucksacks. Now there is a nice zipped compartment inside the hood. I would say that it's adequately sized. You can have your own little small things quite se well secured in this section. Uh, what's a little bit special about this uh, this rucksack is that we have this kind of roll uh, top system, so you don't have the traditional pull cords. So all you have to do is roll this down. And then you have this buckle system to lock it in place. Um, this is uh, mostly known or used in the dry pack uh, business, but uh, it works quite well. I have to say that I have used this rucksack for a couple of times while hiking, and I have to say that I'm really pleased with this kind of uh, setup. I would say it's a little bit more <laughs> easier and handy to use than the traditional uh, pull cord system. Now this doesn't make this waterproof because even though this is 1000D Cordura and it is basically coated from the inside, that the material itself is quite watertight but the seams are not and of course you have the hole for the uh, your water hose so it's not a watertight rucksack so you definitely need some kind of a rain cover and this is a two-section rucksack, so basically um, there is a divider in about approximately in this uh, height 
and it's operated by Ulgod and there is a access port or seat in the front so you can have your sleeping bag or whatever basically in this section and the chip seats go all the way here it's, it's relatively easy to open but if let's say if you stuff your rucksack full of stuff and you have your sleeping bag on the lower part it's a little bit tricky to get out yeah but it works uh, other zips you don't have so yeah that's about it on the front on the back side we have uh, of course balancing straps on the top and you have a balancing strap on the bottom part yeah those are nice what is a little bit different with this shows now is that they don't have any kind of adjustability to the length I am something like 190 centimeters and this is quite suitable for me uh, if I would be a little bit more higher it, this might be a little bit limiting but yeah of course it saves weight and cost that it is basically fixed and of course there isn't any breaking parts now um, there is some padding on the shoulder straps and some padding on the waist straps I would have to say that it's quite adequate, I cannot really complain about uh, getting my shoulders or hip quite numb on uh, trips that I have made uh, you have little plastic loops here and here uh, you have some padded uh, support for your back on both sides of, of your spine uh, then there is the hip belt as you can see it's basically covered with mole and we have a plastic buckle in the front and the adjusting system is quite modern compared to some other some of the rucksacks so you just have to pull these to get it tight spreads the load quite well I have to say like if you have 40 kilos of stuff inside this yeah, area it's still quite comfortable I have tried it with books or something like maybe with 30 kilos you have a little uh, bat for your back so yeah it's quite nice. Also, what, what seems quite good about this is that uh, this whole belt is detachable, so you have mole inside uh, on the back side, and you can just have this the whole belt removed. So, if you want to carry this without the waist belt, it's possible. And of course, if you are in the military stuff or something similar, you can have this belt as a battle belt when you are not carrying, carrying the rucksack. So, yeah, white. Uh, clever design but it's not something that is unique to this rucksack there are some military rucksacks that have, have the same functionality now there isn't really much more to say about the rucksack uh, price wise it's, oh, it's relatively expensive because it's made in Finland and it's made by Savotta so the regular price is something like 325 euros give or take like 10 euros here or there like yeah but what you will get is a high, highly well-made rucksack. I have never had anything problem what comes to the workmanship or the materials, what comes to the Savotta. And you also get, if I remember it right, something like five years of guarantee to the materials. So yeah, very, 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 very expensive rucksack. But I would have to say that it's really worth the money, especially if you are into this kind of military look. Uh, rucksacks. So I hope you liked the video. Give me lots of comments, a lot of thumbs up, and 